What's up, man? I'm just there, cuz. What's going on, man? Why are you doing it all by yourself? Nah, I was just wondering, you know. Just thinking. Thinking about what on my wedding day? Really? I'm just imagining if, if my dad was here, how beautiful it would have been. Oh. It would have been good, you know? Yeah. He would have been proud of himself as well. I know, right? Because, yeah. No, man. Well, it's all good. You are here, alright? What can I say? So, it's all good. Representing. Representing daddy, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But we're all gonna be dead someday. Yeah. I know he's still proud of us, though. No. I know he's looking down from heaven, imagining if he was here, too. So, yeah, I know. I know. You got to you thank God for it. It did go well. You did. I mean, you know I love your sister, right? You don't have a choice. She's like your sister as well. After all, we all grew up together. I know. I know you do well. We should hook up sometime. We need to. We need yeah. to. We used to do that when we were younger, bro. <laughs> no, I know. No. So today you're my brother-in-law. You've always been my brother, so it's not. It's Aww. not like it's a shock. Aww. You know that. That's so cool, bro. That's how it is, bro. You know? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But hey, I'm gonna do my, my best. Hey, thanks, man. All right, cool, man. Out. You know, maybe after the wedding, after the only and stuff, we could just, you know, take some time out. Yeah, we should do, we should do that. We should yeah. do that. It's been a while. It's always. Like always bro. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. in you. I know you definitely do well. Be a good father as well. And uh, sure. it's a long life, my brother. Well, so okay, now they're having fun. Okay, let me join them up, okay? But you can just come through, right? Come on. Oh, I'll be with you soon. Huh? Great, great yeah, stuff, man. No, man. You have fun, man. There's a man out there. He said he desperately wants to see you. He wants to see me? Yes. Why? I don't know. He says your life depends on it. My life depends on it? Yes. Um, let me see. Okay. L let's go see yeah, him. Yeah, let's quickly go see him. Let's <laughs> ah. Honey, I have to go pee. I am pressed. Must you go now? Let's go see the man first. Girl, shit is about to drop. I need to go pee. Okay, let me go. Let me go okay, see please, then, just go. Get it. Get the package. Tell him if anything, he should leave his number or something. I'll call him. Okay, okay. Okay? No All right, thank you. But I was busy growing up and playing games. The many nights you cried. Times I lie, wish I could take it back and get us back on track. Love the times I called you names and left you in dismay. Oh, oh I was a fool. The many nights you cried, the many times I lied, wish I could take it back. Daddy, this is 
is the room you got for my bridesmaids and I took you, my doing the wrong place. Oh, do you need me to do anything for you? Send me to you actually. Okay, okay. Yes. Make sure you handle it with care. And make sure you give it to her. And nobody else should see it. I'm dangerous myself showing up in this type of garden. Because people are after my life. But the truth just have to be told. You're giving me scared. Yes, you should be. That is more reason why you shouldn't show yourself in our company. Supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Yeah, yeah. But I just got news that my first cousin was raped during her wedding reception. <gasps> oh my God. How, how did that happen? Apparently, we agreed to fix our wedding the same day. Mm -hmm. So, how's this going on right now in Abuja? And mine here. Oh my God. How can someone be raped on her wedding day? That man must be heartless. Heartless is an understatement. God. He's a demon. <laughs> John. Yes. So, if you're in my cousin's shoes, Kill that man. I'll poison him neat. Oh my goodness. Is that why you're crying? Okay, you just have to stop, okay? Come on, please. You, your guests are waiting for you. You're swallowing your makeup, please. <coughs> please.
what I just saw. Running away on your own wedding day. How come she's even married to the only, only son of Chief Mario Jacob? I'm just wondering. And still not be happy marrying into all that world. <sighs> she wears the shoes. Definitely. But she don't do this on an important day like this. But I think the reasons for her actions are still best known to her. I wonder how she even trapped Marion into marrying her. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Do I even smell jealous in this? Me? Yeah. Jealous. <laughs> With all that I have. Mm. Marion, for your information, chased me for years. I just didn't want him. He's not my type. Quality is enough to make you Mrs. Mario Jacob. Then how come you didn't marry him? Please, let's run along so we do not miss the last show of this episode, please. I don't like it at all. Oh, my love, let's... I'm short of words, but thank you so much for giving me this house as my wedding present. It's all right. I hope you like it. Of course I do. Uh, be honest with me, because if you don't, it's not too late for me to exchange it with the one in Banana Island. No, 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 no. I, I like it. And I'm sure Paige will love it too. Honestly? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, where is your wife? My, my wife, she's, um, she's in the room. She's resting. She's not feeling too sound right now. I understand. Yeah. We're wedding stress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chief, this is a wonderful one you've got for him here. Who's he is? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, he's my only son and he deserves the very best. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you know what? Let me get um, both something to drink real quick. Uh, 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 Mario, that would have been a wonderful idea. But Chief Richard and I have a place to go. Oh. And we're late as it is, so we will take a rain <laughs> check on that. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming through, okay? Appreciate it. All right. Dad, come thank you son. so much. <laughs> come with Dad. It's pretty oh, good. It's all right. All right, sir. Um, say us well to your wife. Oh, I sure will, sir. Yeah. It, 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 it's your house. It's my own. <laughs> <laughs> now? Um, yes. Yes, I'm fine. It's a it says of joy. I'm glad we made it. Yeah, finally, right? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> no. uh, baby, you're not okay. I'm fine. Are you sure your dad has gone? Why all these questions? I already said you left already, remember? Oh, yes. I believe you. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, excuse me. You know, it's, it's a long time coming, right? <laughs> yeah. And finally, your husband and wife. Huh? <laughs> and finally, oh, here. Right? Yes. Yeah. No! Are, are, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's fine. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure it's the wedding stress and everything, right? Yes, yes. Okay, um, you need to rest right now, okay? You really need to rest. Okay, just relax, all right? Go on the way, all right? Come on, go.
bread. But honey, come on. You know I'm not a breakfast person, right? Well, that has to stop today. Because there's no way I would let you out of this house without breakfast. <sighs> You know I love you, right? I love you so much, okay? So, whatever it is that's making you think and be moody, talk to me about it. I'm not just some random guy, I'm your husband. Besides, the Bible says that two heads are better than one. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. By the time I get back from work today, you better stop these tears, okay? Okay, promise? I promise. Promise, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. Honey, I'm, I'm so sorry. I need to rush to work now. So when I get back, I promise I'll do dinner, eat out, anything. Okay? All right? I'll see you, okay? I need the 
How are you? As well. Where's your ring? on the dining before taking a nap. Where could it be? Hey. Girl. Thank you. Paige. What's the matter? What's happening to you? I walked through that door. I came in here, stood for a while, and you didn't even know someone came in. What's wrong with you, darling? I don't know you to be this careless. Oh, I, I dozed off. You dozed off? Yes. Do you know if that ring got into the wrong hands, that person would be smiling to the bank right now? Best friend, I feel like I should open up to you before I die in grief. Okay, let me hear it. Joanne, I regret ever venturing into this marriage. I regret ever venturing into this marriage. What? I, I thought Marion is... Yes. Mario is a very sweet husband. I mean, I mean, as a matter of fact, Mario is every woman's dream. He's such a good soul and he doesn't deserve this. So what then? John, would you believe I and my husband haven't made love since we got married? But why? Why? John. Yes. I have been very traumatized in my marriage. My father-in-law yeah. rapes me and defiles my body on a daily basis. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yes, on a daily basis. I'm wondering why he hasn't come through today. Understand. Now I now I understand the movement he made that day. I came looking for you in the restroom. Oh my god. I should have known better. I should have known better. I actually used my cousin to tell you what happened to me that very day. On my wedding day, I am emotionally damaged. <laughs> Does your husband know about it? Does he know? But, but, but why haven't you told him? Why? How would I tell my husband that his beloved father is raping his wife? Who would believe my story? Who? Besides, Chief has promised to kill me if I dare tell anyone. Oh my God. Joanne, please keep 
this as a secret. No one has to know. Not even my mother. No. No, Paige. No. He can't hurt you. He's just putting fear into you. You, 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 just, you just have to tell somebody, please. You have to. Joanne, after all I saw in that city, that man is capable of anything. What city? Remember the parcel the man gave to you on my wedding day? Yes. Yes. The, the parcel Chocho gave me? Yes. It was a city. Girl, if you see what I saw in that city, you will know that man is capable of anything. And he has threatened to kill my family, including me. And besides, I don't want to bother my husband with any of this. Must be his car. Hold on. He's here. He's here. My father in law is here. Find a place to hide. Hide. deal of help. Really? Oh yes. Just explain to him what. Wow, Leo. Nice meeting. Nice meeting Thanks you so too. Much about you. <laughs> really, I hope they are all good things. Yeah, okay. okay. First of all, please. I'm very nervous. This is my first time. Yeah, okay, so that. I'm really looking at what you can do for me. Okay. Yes, because I don't have any idea on what to do now. Okay. Um. I have some friends that are flying in from Paris. So um. I'll come with them that night. Let's see how we can make the show fabulous for you. Wow. Yeah. 
That's nice. You would do that for me. Yeah, I'll do it for him. <laughs> oh, thank you very That's much. That's my man. Yeah. Very much. I really appreciate it. You know, plus, he could also get you celebrities to showcase your design on that day on the runway. Serious? Come on, you're in safe hands. You're in very safe hands. <laughs> Let's toast to that. Oh, yeah. Baman. <laughs> Come on now. <clears throat> ah. Baby, that was awesome. <laughs> Awesome. You see why I come back for seconds? Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're good. If I must say that you are good. Mm. Come on. I am your family's benefactor. I bought your mama house in one of the choicest estates in town. And uh, I, I, I need it more than my Santas. Mm -hmm. Yes, I need it more than my Santas. In fact, my baby wants you always. <laughs> mm. Come on, give that a smile. Mm? <laughs> oh my. Yes. Mm. Okay, um, I, I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Mm. Can't seem to get enough of you. <laughs> see, see that? <laughs> oh, shucks. Okay, I'll... Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mm. Awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> She's fine. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks again. Oh, Chief, you've been a wonderful in-law to me. You're always there for us. Thank you so much. I do appreciate. Really? How nice. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Ah. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you plenty, plenty. All right. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Huh?
I didn't realize you slept down here. <sighs> So behavior of yours funny. Okay? We've been married for like three months now. And we're here to relate as husband and wife. What is it? I've tried to know what is wrong with you, but you won't talk about it. If it's a divorce you want, just say it. Okay? You and you're no longer the woman I married. Yes. You know more the woman I got married to or I fell in love with. What is it? You've withdrawn yourself from me, even in bed. <laughs> Look, listen and listen good. I'm not made of steel, you know. Whatever happens in this marriage, you have yourself to blame. Just look at this. Can you be that? We are so lucky. Oh, this chief has just been standing really By strong. By us. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. I just I can't thank wait you. to see him to thank him. Hey. Doing very well. <laughs> Celebration in the air. You just <laughs> what is the occasion? Good, good, baby. Good, 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 good. How are you, bro? Hey, welcome. Oh, Wow, welcome, darling. Thank you, you Mama. You meet us well. Eh? Mama, what is all the celebration? Look, my girl, do get your sister. Yeah. Glass cup. You just have to help me thank Chief. Thank you, Lord. Chief Jacobs is actually God sent. Ever since your father passed away, he has never for one moment made me feel like a widow. We have never lacked anything. He keeps the money rolling and rolling and sending in money. Just look at this beautiful, big, well-located house he bought for us in our name and the cars. And oh my goodness, may God bless his Mama, soul. He's Mama, that's so enough. Kind. I just want to thank God. I Mama, thank God. that's enough. So what did Chief give to you this time? Look at you. Can't you see it for yourself? Look at all this. He bought all this. Not so long. He sent his driver to, to bring all this. And look at Two million cool naira. Look, Mama. You have to return all these things back to Chief. And please, no more accepting gifts from Chief. Why? Mama. Chief is not the man you think he is. What do you mean by that? Can you explain? Mama, Chief has been raping and defiling me since the day of my wedding. I beg your pardon. In the dream? Mama, Mama I'm talking about physical abuse. <laughs> since I got into that marriage, I haven't had a moment of peace. Can you hear the sound of your own voice? His son's wife? Yes. Since there are over a million girls out there seeking for chief's attention. You see, that's exactly what Michael is trying to explain to you. That, you know, he has the money, he has the, the connection, the influence. He can get as many girls as possible as he chooses. Nobody Even the most that. beautiful ones in town. So, you guys are saying that I cooked up this story. I don't know exactly. What I mean is just that I, I... Yes, you lied. You're lying for reasons best known to you. I can't even... I can't believe you. You just walked in here. 
dishonoring a honorable man. See, think well before you start saying some things. Who people say they hear such things from? just had to because of the way you and mama were doubting me I had to convince you oh please I beg you don't show mama don't tell mama anything I don't want her life in danger you know chief is very dangerous that bastard I will make him pay for this I will let the whole world know how evil he is mm -mm. It's all out war, an eye for an eye. Bro, calm down. We need to handle Chief with wisdom. I promise you one day we will bring him to pay for all his atrocities. I'm going to report Chief to the police. No, 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 no. Please, bro, calm down. The police are working for him. Please, with patience. We will bring him to justice. Please. I'm sorry, please. You have such faces, Paige. Every time we're talking about this, I'm going to report that man to the police. And it's all out of order, like I said before. Michael, Michael. To hell with him. Michael, 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 no, please. Sorry. Michael, don't do anything. Do this. Michael. Jacob's around. Who are you, sir? It does not matter. It's Chief Jacobs in this building. Yes, he's in a meeting, sir. Please no, calm down. I would like to see him now. Calm down, sir. He's in a meeting. I said I would like to see the chief now. Yes, Hello, sir. sir. Do you have an appointment with him? It does not matter. It's Chief Jacobs in this building. Please calm down, sir. Please. please calm down, down, please. 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 Yeah, right now, please. You can't. Chief Jacob is here. Hmm. Chief. Me and you need to have a serious meeting. Enough is enough. What for? What for? Chief, to the best of my knowledge, this investment is part of my father's. Your atrocities are catching up to you now. I have seen the video, Chief. I've seen the video. And I'm taking it to the police. You are going down, Chief. Michael. Don't bite more than you can chew. Or what, Chief? Or what? Be careful what you wish for, Michael. Or what will happen, Chief? Be you careful. do more than you've done already. Your atrocities are about to be shown to the whole world. And you will remember. Chief, I, Michael, will bring you down. Lucas. Lucas. Yes, boss. Get him off the premises. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You still associate yourselves with thugs. I will make sure that you go down, Chief. You have beaten more than you yourself can chew. Rapist. Move it. Don't touch me again, my friend. You try that again, I'm I think we should take our relationship to the next level. What do you think? What are you talking about? I was getting married. Why is everything for women all about marriage? Marriage, 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 marriage. Babe, I've told you before, I'm not ready for this marriage issue now. I have a lot on my table. 
There's a lot going on in my family I can't start talking about right now. When I'm done with that, then we can start from somewhere and start discussing this marriage thing. There's no time for that. Family, family, family every day. Your sister P just got married six months ago and she's happy over there. And we've been in this relationship for over six years. Babe. Six years, baby. Why are you not listening to me? You're always talking and not listening to the next person. Why are we always arguing over this marriage, marriage issue? I said there's something stressing me and you're bothering me about marriage now. Listen, babe, you know what? Let's get married next year. Next year? Yes, next year. Baby, by next year, I'll be 32 years. And everybody that the both of us know, they are all married. Why would you tell me to wait for to, another extra one year? Can you not leave this issue and let's do this next year? By then, all the issues we have at hand would have gone down. By next year, okay, babe? Okay? I've been with you for six years. Why can't you just wait a few more months? And let's... Hello. Are you Michael? Speaking is there a problem? Jesus Christ! Get up! Get up! him against confronting Chief Jacob. Now look how he died. In cold blood. Will you stop that? Either you leave my house and go back to your house and stop assaulting me the more. Mama, why is it so hard for you to believe that? Chief Jacob is not who he seems. Will you stop? It's a pity. I heard about this and um, I decided to come over and see you. How is your mother taking all this? Well, what will she do? The Lord gave it. And he has taken. We can ask God questions. That's the spirit. Um, Paige. Did your brother tell you anything? Or did he show you one CD before his death? A CD? Is it Nollywood or Hollywood? Um, actually, it was one CD that I wanted him to watch. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. I should be going. I only came to check up on you. That's very nice of you, Chief. I appreciate it. I understand. I understand. I'll see you later.
Jacob will decide to pick on my family, of everybody in this world. How have we wronged him? Does your mother know who her son's killer is? She doesn't. But I've tried to tell her, or she wouldn't believe me. I mean, I don't blame her. It's difficult for anyone to believe until they see the video. Then show her the video. Girl, I am not ready to lose my mother. She's already in deep sorrow right now over the loss of her son, my brother. Think of what my mother would do if she watches that video. She will definitely confront Chief. And who knows what will happen next? Sweetheart, I think you should leave that marriage. You just have to. I mean, if you leave this marriage, let's see who Chief will be raping. Chief has warned me against such. Then report to the police. It's that simple. <laughs> Girl. You don't know who Chief Jacob is, so. That man is highly connected. He, he has connections with the police. Ha. I don't want to get hit by a stray bullet, too. One of these days. So, this means you're going to remain a sex toy in the hands of Chief Dagogo? But one thing I know is, one day, the captive of the mighty will be delivered. Amen. Amen. So, what about your marriage? Have you done anything as per your sexual life? I've been doing as you advised. Pretending to enjoy lovemaking with my husband when I know my heart is not there. It's okay. It's better that way. At least just to save your marriage. I know. Thank you, Joy. Yes, coming. Ah, this is Fred. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I came to see my husband, but I was told he's not on set. Yes, I sent him on an errand, okay? Okay. Uh, please, um, have a seat. Oh. Uh, before you do, please, um, get me that thing up on the table there, yeah. Um, I'm all good. Uh, uh, no, I think it's um, inside the newspaper on the chair. those premises within 30 minutes and hand over every of these company's properties in your possession to my receptionist. But sir, shut up. Uh, what offense have I committed, sir? Baby, you have not committed any offense. Your only crime is that I didn't let him touch me. Touch you? But sir. 25 more minutes. M my wife. Man. Three, two, one. Get Baby, out of come. He's not our God. Get Let's go. You get another job. Let's go. Old man. <sighs> that was awesome. You sure know how to make my baby happy. Ah, it's like I should have this every every, every day. Ah, Mario, my son is your lucky. God, you are wonderfully made. Hmm? Every man's delight. 
you make me feel energetic. <laughs> I'm, I'm waxing lyrical, you know. Good sex, good sex, good sex with you, good sex. Mm. Something is coming to mind, okay? Um, maybe you should talk to your husband. Try to squeeze out maybe two weeks. We could have a two week vacation in the Bahamas. A few documents are left in the house. I need right now. Why are you looking so unkept? Are you okay? Unkept? Oh, yes, honey, I told you I was sleeping. By the way, is that not my dad's car parked outside? Hmm. Your dad's car? Yes. Okay. Actually, he was around the neighborhood when his car broke down, so he decided to come pack it here. Yes, he said he would call his driver to come pick it up. Oh, I see. I'm looking for this document. I think I left it somewhere here. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, what? Uh, it's a brown envelope. Brown envelope. Um, uh, okay. Should be some. You know, I think it should be in the room. Yes. Oh, oh, the room. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yes, I'm fine. Let me help. talked about I'll see you tomorrow yes okay let me call you later okay hello darling hi mm. I'm so sorry I'm late I was held up on traffic it's okay at least you're here um tell them what you want no I, I don't want anything I took something while I was waiting oh, I see okay so what is it you wanted to tell me about it's about my friend Paige Oh, 
Tommy. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. hey, babe. Okay. Let's go to the hospital right now. Okay. Come on. Yeah. bizarre story I've ever come across. Are you sure what you're telling me, John? Sweetheart, I swear with my life. I witnessed it myself. Paige is in big trouble, honestly. So you mean all this while she has not told her husband yet? She's scared of what Chief will do to her. And you know what? She also thinks that Chief is behind Michael's death. <laughs> No, 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 no. Come on, no. <laughs> Chief is not capable of murder. He can't even as much hurt to fly. Yes. Nevertheless, though, I would still advise Mario to use an indirect way to find out from his father. <laughs> You are the boss, you are the boss. Uh, I, I, I can hear you. I, 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 I still can't hear you. You, you are the boss, you are the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I also own this house that I gave to you as a wedding present. Don't, don't, don't worry. Yes, but please. Shh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I only touched your breast and you slapped me. <laughs> now, I am going to do the real show before you love your husband. So, bye. 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 Till 
is gone. The deed is done. And you have to accept it in good For faith. You, was the only one. But I How was do you expect me to have a child by my father-in-law? That will be a constant reminder of that bastard. But it's not the baby's fault. No, it's my fault. It's my fault, Joan. I mean, I understand why you're sounding like this. Because of your religious belief. But girl, think about my predicament. This child is an unholy seed. From an unholy man. And what are your intentions? Abortion. Your husband is aware that you're pregnant, right? Yes, John. I mean, I, I'll just have to convince him I had a miscarriage or something. No, Paige. I disagree with you on this one. I totally disagree with you. My belief does not permit me to go with you for an abortion, and I will never do something like that. That's fine. I understand. I'll the take many nights you cried, the many times I lied. Wish I could take it back and get us back on track, love. The times I called you names and left you in dismay. Oh, oh I was a fool. Anyone called me? No one. I was just using it to send a text to Chief Jacob. What? Sharon! I, I thought I told you to, to let it go. Look, let's see what happened at some nightmare and forget about it. Because you're not the one that was raped. I have begged you to take this to the police, but you wouldn't. Why are you afraid of a fellow man? Why? Why, why won't I be? Why won't I be afraid? Do you even know? Who Chief Jacob Badamosi is? Oh, Sharon, angel fear to tread where that man passes. It's okay then. It is fine. Since you wouldn't fight for me, I've decided to put on the protective gloves for myself. Okay. Okay, um, what did you send in the text message? I told him to get ready for war! I told him to get ready for war because I will take his dirty linen out there in the pages of all the social media. What? Sharon! <laughs> and you sent that text message with my phone? You have killed me, Sharon. You've killed me! Die! Fred, die! Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> My nigga! <laughs> it's good to see you. I know, man! Man! But that's a new whip, you know, right? Oh, well, well I'm trying, we're trying to reach up to you, eh? Oh, you're right! Come on, come on. <laughs> but hey, you should get married, though, okay? In the, right, in the right time. I've been hearing that since I was a kid. Very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. Trust I've heard, me on I've that. I've heard that a million times. <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> What's up with you? You sounded so, you know, tense on the phone. What happened? Oh. Mario, yeah. there's something I've been wanting to tell you, okay? okay? But I don't want to be misunderstood. What do you mean misunderstood? Look, yo, man, I'm your best friend, so you can talk to me about anything. Okay, what's it? Okay, um, Joanne, yeah? Okay. She confided in me. I don't know how truthful it is, but she told me okay. your dad. Yeah, what happened to my dad? Your dad is having an affair with your wife. Come here. Mario, your dad is sleeping with your wife. No, 
that's not possible, right? something else. losing it. Okay. Sick man. I am losing it now. This is the last time you will touch me. Page. I'm ah! losing it now, Page. Let me help me. Page. Let me help. Page. Come Let me help. Page. Ah! 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 Serves you right. Next time you'll learn not to run away from me. If I do something rash right now, nothing, nothing. And son, let this be the last time you ever raise your voice at me. Do you understand? As God is my witness, there is nothing between your wife and me. Is it because of the many gifts I've been giving her, mother? Ha! Huh? My good deeds will not kill me. I'm, 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 I'm really very... I'm really very sorry, sir. Please forgive me. Son, I'm, I'm really disappointed in you. Son, is that how you rate me, your father, so low? Your wife and I? Forgive me, Dad. The thing is, I, I didn't know what got into me when Paul told me about this. Paul? Is that boy insane? Where on earth has it seen your wife and I in such a compromising manner as to warrant this kind of gossip? Why? I, I don't know. I really don't know. He said something about Joanne telling me all this. <laughs> and now I know where all this is coming from. Joanne. Just because I refused her love advances, she wants to create some misunderstanding between my dear son and myself, it's all right, it's okay. We shall see where all this leads to. Dad, are, are you having issues with Joanne? <laughs> Not that I know of, son. No. Just that she's been giving me the come on sign. But you know your dad, she's not my kind of girl. Though due to my generosity, I've always assisted her financially whenever she asked. And even when she didn't. But that night of your wedding, she came pleading that she would like to pass the night with me. And that was when I talked strictly with her. Talked to her like a father would to his child. 
and by that she should desist from all that nonsense, that's all. I didn't know she took it in such a bad faith as to resort to blackmail. Wow, this is, this is, this is amazing. But with that, please, I mean, she's, she's family to me now. She's a best friend to my wife. Please forgive her, okay? I'm sure she was just being childish. It's all right, son. It's all right. I really don't blame her. The only person I blame is death. Were your mom still alive, I wouldn't be receiving all these insults from small, small children. It's all right. But please, don't go there again, okay? Please. <laughs> it's all right, son. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry, dad. It's all right. Whoa, I feel relieved now. Hey, how would you suspect such a thing? I'm so uh, sorry. Sit down, let me get a bottle of wine for us to share. Hey, busy growing up and playing games. The many nights you cried, the many times I lied. Wish I could take it back and get us back on track, love. The times I called you names. How are you doing, Fred? Fine, welcome, okay. sister. Hannah. I'm good, though. Your wife just told me what happened. Why didn't you report this kind of incident to the police? Nowadays, rape is a serious offense in Nigeria. No matter who is involved, has to face the music. I have pleaded with Sharon severally to let what happened be bygone. But she will not hear. It is not everything that happens to a man that he runs to the police. Sometimes it is wise. It's even scriptural to, 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 to let God be one's avenger. Shame on you, Fred. Shame on you. A man rapes your wife right in your presence. I know you can come up with this. Leave vengeance for God. Look, okay, now you go and do the fighting on my behalf. I will do the fighting. I will fight for myself. Enough, both of you. Enough. Sharon, did you invite me here to start exchanging words with your husband? I know how it feels to be raped. But that does not mean you shouldn't respect your husband again. No, no, no. Let her insult me all she wants. Let her insult me. And you know, sister, she was even the architect of what happened. If she had told me that she wanted to come to the office to see me, I would have, I would have taken out time to explain to her the kind of person Chief is. But she wanted to surprise me and say the result now. Okay, sorry. Sister, sorry. Fred, are you sure there isn't more to this? Because I find it very hard to believe that a fellow man will rape your wife in your presence and you are feeling this cool. Listen to me. I'm not going to sweep this under the carpet. Never. Sister, Chief Jacob Ibadamosi is a very influential man. He's a man with connections. And I mean connections with the rich, the high, the mighty, even with the police. And, and so what? And, and, I, and I won't want a situation where, uh, because I'm, I'm seeking justice, end up being injured the more. And if Sharon here, if, if Sharon refuses to understand with me, then this is too bad. It's just too bad. I, I, I mean. 
Five years ago, Houston, Texas. Yes. I'm her daughter. Yes, I'm the product of your little friendship. And before she died, she gave me this. What's your name? My name is Abina. Abina. Abina? Yes, Daddy. You say you're my daughter? Yes. And that automatically makes me your father? Yes. Tell me about me. Um, um, yes, Mommy told me you attended King's College and you're from Edo State. Are you sure? Um, Enugu State maybe. You know Daddy, I'm coming all the way from America and I've been looking for you, I've been searching for you everywhere so I must have forgotten Delta State. It's, it's alright, it's alright. Where are you staying at the moment? Sky Blue Hotel. Lucas. Yes boss. I book high room at the Pelican. Okay, boss. I'll talk to you. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'll talk to you later. This way, boss. Okay, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Let's go and see my sister. Honey, you just go. I'm tired. I just want to be, okay? Are you sure? I'm sure. Come on. Okay, I'll be back okay. before you know it. Five minutes? Yes, five minutes. Okay.
honey, come on. How long do you intend to go on like this? What has happened has happened. God knows best. Did you hear the doctor's report? Mm -hmm. That I lost my womb as a result of the miscarriage. So I can never be a mother. Honey, I will stay with you in the... I mean, it's nobody's fault. All we need to do is just to live with this. I'm your husband, and I'm here for you. It's somebody's fault. And whoever it is must pay for this damage. surprised to hear all this. Chief is a very respectable and law-abiding citizen of this country. Sir, I know what I'm talking about. Chief Jacob raped me right in front of my husband. And I'm very sure he's behind my husband's assassination. It's okay. It, it, it's okay, madam. It's okay. We investigate this. Do you know if... Um, your husband has any other enemy, apart from the one you told me concerning the misunderstanding you had with Chief Jacob? No, sir. No. But, sir, this man is, this, this Chief Jacob is... It's, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, madam. Please, eh? We'll look into it, okay? But, sir, what you have been saying is looking into it. My life is in danger here. I said sir. it's okay, madam. I said we'll look into it. Ah, Chief Jacob is a nice man, and we'll do everything we can to investigate this. Good day, madam. Chief is a nice man. not safe here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. But we need to leave here right now. It's not safe. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just said we need to leave. It's not safe here. What do you mean it's not safe in your own house? By the way, where are you going with this traveling bag? I just told you it's not safe. We need to leave here now. Sharon, I didn't come all the way from America for you to tell me it's not safe in your own house. By the way, listen. My dad has refused to accept me as his daughter, I'm Sharon. So sorry, I don't know what to... I'm so sorry, but we need to leave here. It's not safe. Take it. Let's Sharon, go. I didn't come all the way from America to say it's not safe. I'm, I need to rest. Ah! Is everything okay? Let's go. Come. 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 I will tell you what is happening only if you're still alive. Alive? Yes. I couldn't sleep. Been thinking about you all day, all night, so decided to call. What are you doing calling me at such a time? I'm in bed with my husband. And so? Yes, he's my son. But I need you more than my son does. You look like a virus in my system. Why didn't you make an excuse and come over to where I am? My, my baby is so restless for your touch. You have to stop this. Stop. 
Stop. Stop. It's not funny. Stop. Honey. No, you... She wants me to give, drop a message for her mom tomorrow. Oh, okay. Maybe you should go see the mom. It's been a while, okay? Happy birthday, my Prince Charming. So there's no love poem for my birthday? Really? I told you, 12 p.m. I have a huge birthday surprise for you, my love. You have a surprise for me? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. But hey, I need to get to the office first, sign up a few papers, then come back. Or if I get back, get everything ready, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I love you too, baby. I'm a Russia, baby. Okay. has come over you. How? You... You seem happy to see me. Why? Honey, that's because I missed you. Uh -oh, like, is this for real? Paige. Paige, you. You who hate me with so much passion missed me. Oh, please. That was all in the beginning. I've grown so used to your touch. That makes me want you even more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I can't believe I can't believe this. <laughs> I, look, I I am I am really glad to hear this. Believe me, I am really glad to hear this. And and for this, Paige, for this, mm -hmm. I will give you a brand new car on your next birthday. I oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. It's all right, it's all right. Um, uh, look, um, we, we are pressed for time, okay? Okay. Just uh, go in and change and let's get down to the brass tacks. Um, <laughs> my baby here has been restless for your touch ever since I traveled, oh, okay? I see. So um, go on, go on. Go on. Uh, yeah, well, Daddy, mm -hmm. it's a little problem. What? What is it? I'm on my period, so. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Chief Jacob is all weather. Really? All weather. Look, oh. Just go in, freshen up, and come back quick. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, baby. Uh, right. And g get me a glass of juice, okay, before you go. A glass of. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> I will be just right back. Okay. Baby. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh. Uh, 
Harrier. That's good. Oh, I see you half ready. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not half ready, to... I'm very ready. I'm coming <laughs> to assuage those nerves. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, oh, just give me the juice and go freshen up and come back. No, I want to feed you. Uh, it's, it's, it, I, I'll do, I'll do the feeding, okay? Don't worry, let me do the no, feeding. No, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. Feed me down am... there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to take care of you in every way. This one inclusive. I, I, I can do this. I, I can't wait for this. <laughs> you daddy, calm down. Okay, I'll, calm I'll, down. I'll take some sips, okay? One. Two. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do the rest. Let's go. Mm -hmm. okay. See, baby, I'm yeah. about to finish you. Hey, I love you. I, I love that too. Trust me, you're gonna be exhausted by while by when we are done. So I need you to take all of this. Okay, uh, take, uh, let's take a good amount. Take out my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I see uh, let, let me. Just a pinch of your own poison. <coughs> Bitch, why? Ah. Hear me out first. If you were in my shoes, you would do the same thing. Son, please, just take me to the hospital <laughs> fast. Oh, Dad, okay, hold on, just let me, let me get a car, okay? Okay? Right. <laughs> Why did you do this, bitch? Why? Oh, so you love life like this, but you take away lives. I bet you. You would not come out of this one. Go and join the ones you've killed. Bitch, please. Please. <laughs> Dad? Uh. Dad? Dad? I'm so sorry. I, I, I couldn't see the car, but let's go anyway. Darling, your father here killed my dad. What nonsense are you talking about? You know, is in this city. My brother Michael didn't believe me until he watched this. And after he watched it, he confronted your dad. And what happened next? He sent my brother Michael to his early grave. Son, she's lying. Oh, shut up. 
John told Paul about your father's abominable acts towards me. And Paul told you, you confronted your dad. Am I right? Am I correct? Fine. Now that confrontation was what led to the death of my friend, Joanne, and left Paul laying half dead in the hospital. <coughs> your evil father was responsible for my pregnancy. And he was also responsible for my miscarriage. This man left me for death. If you didn't come in early enough, it would have been a different story now. Your father called me yesterday. He said he was going to be back at 12 noon today. That he wanted to have a feel of my flesh before we traveled to the States. So I had to find a way to end this misery. And since yesterday, I have been thinking of how to free myself from your father's grip. So I came up with a plan. Because until he dies, except your father dies, I will have no other option than to keep being his sex toy. So I decided to put an end to it today. So I poisoned his drink. So please take me to the hospital. <coughs> Son. This is the city. Everything you need to know is in there. <coughs> so you can see the devil <coughs> father has been. for our flight. We have to go. On the contrary, you can stay with your evil father. Probably give your evil father another chance of survival. I'm out. To do it this moment without delay. I know that I've done wrong, but can't live without your love. Tell me what to say, tell me if my words can make you understand. What I'm feeling deep inside. Oh, I promise I'm changed, and I'm totally committed to doing your will every day. If I say I'm sorry. Joke, cause you know I only drink coke. I said it was a freestyle, but something that I wrote. 
the line again, uh, let me check my note, okay, I got it, oops, again, I lost it, your mercy and your grace, I don't want to abuse it, I pray hard to keep my focus on the father, but can't get them off the body, I'm sorry. Ooh, what I shouldn't do, that's what I do, is this a fault that I have to chew, make me, make me, tell me what to do, I'm broken up before you, I promise I'm changed, and I'm so 